Hello everyone, something has compelled me to speak. I cannot remain silent anymore because many are dying, many are dead and gone and they didn't understand certain basic concepts. What it means to be a Christian if the Spirit of God is upon you. People cannot tell the difference if really they have the Spirit of God in them or not. And this is very simple. Yet it has caused a whole lot of confusion and division out there. It has misled a whole lot of people. And I'm making this crystal clear for all of us. Let's take this for an example. When you see a tree, you identify the tree by its fruit. You go like, this is an orange tree, an apple tree, a purple tree, because you saw the fruit that it bears. To know that the Spirit of God is upon you is simple. The Bible has said that the fruit, by the fruit of the Spirit, which is in Galatians 5 verse 22, it says, by the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. This is crystal clear. So if you want to know that the Spirit of God is in you, you bear certain fruits. Is it evident? Be the judge yourself. Whenever you, wherever you go, wherever you are, do people experience love, joy, peace? This will show. Don't be misled. We have the gifts of the Spirit which is speaking in, prophet, in tongues, which is prophesying, which is healing. And with this, it can always be copied. When you heal one, the devil can heal thousands. When you prophesy one, the devil can prophesy millions. But the devil can never copy the fruit of the spirit. The devil cannot love. The devil cannot have joy. The devil cannot live in peace. The devil cannot copy the fruit of the spirit. The Bible has said it plainly. In Matthew 7 verse 20 says that you shall know them and you shall know them by their fruits. What fruits are you bearing? That is what will show that you are a Christian. You are not a Christian by saying that you are a Christian. You are a Christian by what you do. When you say you are a carpenter, you are a carpenter and you can't tell the difference between a hammer and a nail when you are given one then you are not what you say you are. You are what you say you are when you know what it means. That's why the Bible has said this in Matthew 7 verse 21, that not all who call me Lord, Lord, but they that do the word of the Lord. Some people call themselves Christians, but they are not Christians. Others are not Christians, but they are and don't even know. Because they are doing it. When you live in love, in joy, in peace, in kindness, this thing shows that the Spirit of God lives within you. Beloved, let us not be deceived. Let us not be confused. Live in the Spirit of God. Bear His fruit. Let it be evident wherever you are. May the Lord bless you. May He bless His word. I leave with you with this three piece of life. May the Lord protect you, may he prosper you in all that you do, and may the peace of God be upon you. Shalom.